Guys, I don't really know what to think about right now. Uh, so basically, I was just minding my own business until today I came across this DM when I checked my Discord. And it was essentially a message from one of my friends that said, well, Bloxburg was sold for $100 million. And yeah, I checked Twitter, and then actually, a lot of people were actually freaking out about this. And so yeah, this is what I'm going to be covering in this video. Well anyways guys, before I started this video, I wanted to say Happy New Year. Hopefully you guys had a good change from 2022 to 2023. Um, for me, well, I guess so. <laughs> I'm not really sure. And yes, I want to say that. And also, I'm currently on holiday, so I have this other mic that I can carry around. And yes, I have a mic, and I, don't, I forgot to bring my pop filter, so I have a sock as a pop filter. So yeah, that's why this video may sound a bit bad. Well anyways guys, let's get straight back into the video. So, the company that actually bought Bloxburg was a company called Coffee Stain, which is a company that is under a big company called Embracer. Also, fun fact, Embracer also owns games like Goat Simulator and Valhalla. I think that's what you call it, Valhalla, something like that. But the main thing I would like to tell you here is the fact that, luckily, this company is not like GameFam. They actually know how to make games and how to treat their staff members. And hopefully they won't get in trouble with other companies like how they got in trouble with Friday Funking, I think it was called. So I'm essentially 99% sure that this company is indeed are actually a trustable company. But moving to the actual main part, oh I think the main part, the money! So it's been publicized that this game, Bloxburg, on average per year, they make 40 million dollars. So that's a lot of money. And since they're making 40 million dollars a year, you may be wondering why did they sell it? If they just work on it for like two and a half years, they'll make all their money back. Well, if you think that, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're completely wrong. Remember, to have a game up and running and have a lot of players, you need to put in a lot, a lot of effort into it. And, well, the fact that you can sell it away for 100 million dollars basically means you don't have to update the game and you'll just be fine for your life. For example, which one would you rather choose? Um, have like 100 million dollars and be able to get whatever you want, essentially. Or get like 40 million dollars a year but having to work nine hours a day. Obviously, I'll choose 100 million. I mean, if it feels like 50 million, probably not, but since it's 100 million, that's actually more than what the average person makes in a lifetime, so... Yeah, it's, it's, it's more than enough money. Also, remember the fact that this game has been up, out for five years already, so he would have made a lot of money then as well. Also, this is just considering the fact that like disregarding the fact that in three years time the, the game may not be popular at all whatsoever so that dev essentially sold it to this company at like a really really good time dude i wish i was him <laughs> i'll be set for life remember he's only a college student i'm pretty sure so dude that he's so young and he has so much money man i'm so jealous bro well i hope you guys have enjoyed this if you guys have not yet done so make sure you like and subscribe at the bell notification so you do not miss out on any live channel video so yeah guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later guys. Bye bye!